guys, it's Samantha. Welcome to my channel. So first off, I am gonna apologize if I keep sniffing or if my voice sounds a little funny. Um, it's because I'm still getting over a cold. <laughs> and secondly, I want to apologize because I've not uploaded in about three weeks. Um, I've been really busy with uni stuff and I've been ill, so I've just not had the time. But today I will be filming my first book haul video. So uh, yeah, hope you like it. So um, all of these books I've got in the past few weeks, um, they've all been since my September TBR video. I'm just going to kind of go through what books I've got and in what order. Um, so I'll start with the one I got longest ago um, but most of them I bought in one go <laughs> so yeah <laughs> this should be interesting. So the first book I got was The Chalk Man by CJ Tudor and basically it's I think it's about murders because um, the blurb basically just says none of us ever agreed on the exact beginning was it when we started drawing the chalk figures or when they started to appear, to appear on their own? Was it the terrible accident or when they found the first body? Um, so, yeah, I don't really know too much about this, but I saw it and wanted to pick it up, so I did. So, the next two books I bought at the same time, um, I bought them on a trip to Waterstones and I was very restrained and only bought the two. And the first one is To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Cristo. Um, I've heard some stuff about this but not too much. Um, but I just picked it up because I'd heard some good reviews about it and the cover was pretty. <laughs> so yeah that's about it. Um, so yeah, it basically just says I have a heart for every year I've been alive. There are 17 hidden in the sand of my bedroom. Every so often I claw through the shingle just to check they're still there, buried deep and bloody. Princess Lyra is siren royalty and revered across the sea until she is cursed into humanity by the ruthless sea queen. Now Lyra must deliver the heart of the infamous siren killer or remain a human forever. Prince Elian is heir to the most powerful kingdom in the world and captain to a deadly crew of siren hunters. When he rescues a drowning woman from the ocean, she promises to help him destroy siren kind for good, but he has no way of knowing whether he can trust her. So yeah, that's, that's that, and I think it sounds quite good. So that was the next one I bought. And the second one I've had my eye on for quite a while, um, mainly because the cover is just so pretty, and that is Starfish by, I'm probably gonna murder this, but Akimi Don Bowman? Not too sure. Um, but I saw this in Waterstones probably about a year ago now, and absolutely loved the cover, and I only just picked it up about a week ago. So yeah, that's, that's that one. Um, I don't know too much about it. Basically, it's about a girl who's having a bit of a tough time, and she receives an invitation to leave her town and her family and to her art schools and um, so she does that and I'm assuming it's just about her touring these art schools and what she learns about herself and blah 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 <laughs> um, so yeah that's that's that one but I just oh the cover is so pretty that is literally why this was a cover buy, I must admit. This was a cover buy. So the next book I didn't actually buy. Um, the book club at my university were having a blind date with a book. So essentially they would wrap up all the books in wrapping paper and just give you the date it was published and like the genre and you just had to take a book and when I got there there was only two left and I was getting one for me and one for my friend so <laughs> I took the two and my friend got I can't remember what she got 
Um, but I got Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Defoe. Um, and pretty much everyone knows the story of Robinson Crusoe, I think. Um, I think anyway, I could be wrong. Um, but he was in a shipwreck and is now living on an island. That's about the gist of it. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that one. I'll probably get around to it at some point, but to be honest, it's pretty low on my TBR, so probably not anytime soon. So the next lot of books I got, I got delivered in one go. And for those of you who follow me on Instagram, I posted them on my story when they arrived. Um, oh, but, oh, jeez. It's quite the stack. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I bought too many books. <laughs> Um, so I'm just gonna go through them all and show you all the books I got. Sorry if my lighting keeps going funny, the weather is very strange today. Um, so I'm, unfortunately I'm reliant on the weather for natural daylight for my filming, so apologies if I like move out of screen and it goes funny um, or things like that. It's just, it's not, it's very dull and rainy today. So, so one, of the, one of the books I got in this Massive stack. It's Shatter Me by Tara Maffey. Um, I've heard mixed opinions on this, um, but I don't know. I'm interested to give it a shot. I don't know too much about it, um, so yeah, I just I'm just kind of eager to read it and see because I've heard that Tara Maffey is an excellent author. Um, and I think that's probably why I've picked it up, um, but yeah, can I just say how pretty the cover is though? <laughs> so many of these are technically cover buys and I just feel a little guilty. <laughs> so the next book is Illumini by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff and um, this was on the list of potential reads for my book club at uni. Um, and I've seen a lot about it on booktube or bookstagram and I thought I just had to pick it up. <laughs> um, it sounds really good. I love the layout of it, how it's like, you probably can't see that, how it's all like, you know, almost like coded kind of things in some places and just really, it looks really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm quite keen to get into this. The next one has been on my TBR for so long now. Um, literally since it was released. And that is Turtles All The Way Down by John Green. Now I love John Green's books. I love them so much. So very keen to get into this. Um, I've heard a lot of good stuff about this and the premise sounds so good. So basically this girl is pursuing the mystery um, of a billionaire that's gone missing or has been mur well, m missing, I think. Um, but, you know, in that she's also got her own problems and it's like her, I believe it's her coping with OCD. Um, it might just be anxiety or depression, but there's, it's a mental health book anyway. Um, so I'm really, really intrigued to see how John Green approaches those issues. The next book I got is Fury Born by Claire Leg Legrand? 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 I don't know, I'm sorry, I'm really bad with names. Um, but Fury Born, um, and I've seen a lot of people reading this um, because I think it was released fairly recently. Unfortunately I think it's been water damaged because if you can, I don't know whether you can see that, but the pages are like kind of crinkly. Um, 
so I don't know whether it's a second hand or whether it's just been water damaged whilst being delivered but everything is just a bit crinkly so I'm slightly annoyed about that I don't know too much about it um, I just said the gate will fall you will know this time by the rise of two human queens one of blood and one of light two queens will rise they will carry the power of the seven they will carry your fate in their hands so I don't know too much about it but I've heard good things so I'm excited to jump into this the next one I've also had my eye on for a while um, and that is the seven deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton um, again well, I don't know much about all of these books um, I don't know too much about the blurbs or you know what what they're about um, but I've heard good things about all of them so that's kind of why I've picked them up um, so yeah I don't know too much about it um, the blurb says somebody's going to be murdered at the ball tonight it won't appear to be a murderer and so the murderer won't be caught rectify that injustice and I'll show you the way out so I do actually remember reading this somewhere now um, and quite liking it I'm loving the I'm loving the inside page of this. It's got like a little map of what I'm assuming the house is. Um, and yeah. But anyway, it says, it is meant to be a celebration, but it ends in tragedy. As fireworks explode overhead, Evelyn Hardcastle, the young and beautiful daughter of the house is killed. But Evelyn will not die just once until Aidan, one of the guests summoned to Blackheath for the party, can solve her murder. The day will repeat itself over and over again, every time ending with the fateful pistol shot. The only way to break this cycle is to identify her killer, but each time the day begins again, Aidan wakes in the body of a different guest, and someone is desperate to stop him ever escaping Blackheath. So based on the title, I'm assuming it repeats seven times and then he figures out who it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm quite eager to to get into this it sounds really good actually so that's that one so the next one again i've heard a lot of good things about and that is six of crows by lee bardugo and i don't know too much about it again um but because i've heard so many good things i thought i'd pick it up so basically based on the blurb um i've kind of got just the this guy is trying to break into the ice core to retrieve a hostage and he has to form a group to help him and there's six of them hence six of crows um and it's just about them trying to complete this mission essentially um so yeah i've heard a lot of good things about it i really like the cover <laughs> um so yeah that's that's that one next one i actually received a sample of in my book box club subscription box and I've heard a lot of good things about it so I decided to pick up the full book and that is Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adi Tommy Adiyami I think <laughs> um yeah I don't know too much about it um but I've heard a lot of good things about this so I'm very excited to jump into this. The next one is um, a series that I've heard a lot about and I'd be surprised if anyone hasn't <laughs> and that is the first book in the Shadowhunters series City of Bones and yeah a lot of people have been talking about this for a long time now um, and I'm a bit late on the catch up, but I thought it was about time I delve into this series, so had to pick that up. And the final book out of that massive pile <laughs> is another series, um, and that is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. And again, a lot of people have been talking about this series for quite a while now. Um, and I've heard a lot of good things, so I felt I had to pick it up and finally see what the hype was about. <laughs> so, 
Um, after that massive, massive pile, which is now like wobbling on my desk, <laughs> I realised I had bought The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle and not the book that my book club was reading at uni. It's a book with a very, very similar title, and that is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And safe to say I got a bit confused between the two. Um, and bought The Seven Deaths of Ever Evelyn Hardcastle, and then realised I had to buy this for my book club. So I bought it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And I don't know too much about it, um, but I have heard a few good things about this, um, just on booktube and stuff. And then when my book club decided to read it, I got quite excited and picked up the book. So I'll probably, this will probably be in my October wrap up. Um, because I have to read this by mid-October so yeah stay tuned for what I think of that and then the final two copies I got a couple of days ago in my September book box club subscription box um, if you subscribe to that box and you haven't got it yet and you don't want to ruin the surprise then you know <laughs> click off now um, but we got two books in it this month because it was the two year anniversary box and the first one is an advanced reader copy and um, so it's an arc of damsel by Elena K Arnold I've not heard anything about this um, and don't really know anything about it but yeah and that's that's one of the books we got um, it just says the right has existed for as long as anyone can remember when the prince who will be king comes of age, he must venture out into the grey lands, slay a fierce dragon, and rescue a damsel to be his bride. This is the way things have always been. When Amma wakes in the arms of Prince Emery, she knows none of this. She has no memory of what came before she was captured by the dragon, or what horror she faced in its lair. She knows only this handsome young man, the story he tells of her rescue, and her destiny of sitting on a throne beside him. It's all like a dream, like something from a fairy tale. As Anna falls Emery to the kingdom of Harding, however, she discovers that not all is as it seems. There is more to the legends of the dragons and the damsels than anyone knows, and the greatest threats may not be behind her, but around her, now, and closing in. So yeah, sounds not bad actually. So uh, I'll have to give that a read at some point. And then the final book of this book haul is the actual book of my September subscription for Book Box Club and that is The Other Side of Lost by Jessie Kirby and I'd never heard of this before but I've read the blurb and it sounds kind of similar to Wild um, the film that was released a couple years ago so yeah it's basically if you don't know the premise of Wild um, or this book, they both involve someone trying to get away from their everyday life and they end up going hiking. So in this book, the main character is very immersed in social media. Um, she has thousands of social media followers and one day she decides to be truthful about something, don't know what and she posts her truth video online and the pressure of social media just gets worse so she decides to go hiking on the John Muir trial. Um, so yeah, that's, that's about that. So yeah, that was my book haul. Um, it's, I don't even know if I can lift this. We're gonna try. It's quite the pile. Oh. There we go. Can't even get it fully in shot. Awesome. <laughs> there we go. Hey. <laughs> oh dear. Ah. Oh, nearly dropped them there. But yes, this is my um my book haul <laughs> for like the past. <sighs> it's 
so this is my book haul for the past like week or so um i think most mostly probably two weeks at most um but most of them i got in the past couple of days so clearly i have an issue <laughs> so yeah that was my book haul um i will probably not be buying any more books for a few weeks at least <laughs> or i'm gonna try um but to be fair one two three four five of those are series which gives me an excuse to buy more oh, what have i done <laughs> anyway that was my book haul um i'll be posting my september book box club subscription box unboxing that was a mouthful <laughs> video in about a week or so um so stay tuned for that and i hope you enjoyed this book haul thank you for watching and uh see you soon bye